Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that, or pack my bags. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind, the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupo's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher, and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I better get to it. Is it true what I'm hearing? It would Take be a stiff, good sir. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. Well, we can make our way back to the farmyard at least. What is it? Me no move for charter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I... Assume you use one out in the field. Oh. Um. Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Can't be dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. All business, eh? Man after my own heart. So? How'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his... Dalamil remark, but that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No, we must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but I have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Agreed. Luba wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. 
the cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light, meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps? Eh. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But... Maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant. A favorite of Forge Master Lubor's, who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Thanks, girl. Any luck? Or will you be needing help with your bags? Well, I asked her, but... <laughs> You tell him. If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to ash? Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said the Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And, if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low-quality iron. Bloody hell! That must be it! I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality, but I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I, uh... I hate to ask after all that you've done for me, but... The limestone? Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. Besides, I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. The place is bloody made of it! Then I suppose I'll meet you back at the forge. Right you are. I'll see you shortly. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubor? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ah, <sighs> just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Talmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing that you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kuka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Shall we press on? Looks a lot like another. 
Well, hopefully this is what Seven needs. I wasn't sure how much you'd need, but I hope this is enough. You are one of the good ones, you know that. You and that merchant both, she's got quite a gift for teaching that one. Now, time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for. That'll do, I reckon. A knife forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. Her spirit, if you will. It's a fine-looking blade. <sighs> I only hope Master Lubor agrees. That sounds like my cue. And just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. I'm, I'm sorry, Forge Master Lubor. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Sava, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. Uh, but, but what do you think? What do I think indeed? It's sharp-ish, but it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who you found to teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that, hmm? The butcher? The hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule number one in any business, Sava. Know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable. But only just. I'd say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um. I was wondering, uh. What would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I'd do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an absolute fortune. Goes a master, all right. It looks like congratulations are in order. I couldn't have done it without you. So much for the Forge Master's riddle, though, eh? The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all. Meaning, I had you run around for no good reason. You've passed your test. That's all that matters. You'll have a forge of your own in no time. And when I do, I'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs>